So in the series of learning Python programming language, we are working on a project, Hangman Game. In the previous video, I've just given you an introduction, how to play Hangman Game, what is Hangman Game, right? Now I have asked you to draw a flowchart of this game before just, you know, start writing the code. So how to draw a flowchart step by step. See, first thing is what? You have to guess a, one player will guess a word, right? So we'll generate a word, right? So, first is start, the flowchart, first step is we are going to start, then what? Generate a word, random word, right? You will be having a word list and generate a random word from that list. Now, obviously, in the last example, we have seen apple, we have generated apple, but this would not be shown to the second player, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These five blank spaces would be shown only, right? Because there are five letters. So you have to generate as many blanks as the letters in that word. So third step is this one. After generating these blanks, now user will guess a letter. Or maybe you can say, uh, the, the ask a user to guess a letter. Now we will check the guessed letter is correct or not. If user has guessed X, so we'll check if X is there or not for each position, right? So now check, check if the guessed letter is present in the word or not. Two cases can be there. Like maybe yes, it is present or no. If the letter is present, if suppose I have guessed A, so A is present, so I'll replace this blank with this letter, right? So, replace the blank with the guessed letter, right? Because that is correct. If no, then you are going to lose a life. So, lose a life. Right? Now, when to, when the game would be over? If there is no blank space, in this word, right? Means you have guessed all the letter right. Then game over means you are going to win, right? One is, one, one condition is this. So now we are going to check are all these blank spaces are filled or not? So two cases can be there. Yes or no? If no, then again guess a letter. So if no, then again guess a letter. If yes, then obviously we are going to exit. But second condition for game over is what? Next is lose a life, right? So if you are out of lives, then also game over and you are going to print a message, you are going to lose. So now it will be checked out of lives. Still any life remaining or, you know, life remaining or not, you are out of lives or not. If yes, out of lives, then game over. So here they are going to meet like, like this and game over or print an appropriate message. If no, if there are still lives remaining, then again what control will go here. You have to then again guess a letter. So I guess this is not too tough. This is what a flowchart of hangman game. Now according to this flowchart, now we have you know, divided our problem in simpler one. Now you have to write down the code, right? The steps you have to do what, what? First of all, we'll generate a word from a word list. This thing we'll do. Then we are going to replace these blanks. So we have, you know, divided our complex problem into these smaller, smaller problems. So you have to focus first on this thing, how to generate a word from a word list, random word actually. So you, if you have, you are aware about this random module, then you can do this easily, right? So what knowledge you have to, you know, till now what you have learned like random module, for loop, while loop, a membership operator also like in, not in, these kind of things you have to use to make this project, right? Okay. Now in the next video, we'll be seeing the complete code, right? So now I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.
Peki.